I get my model back here, which is my database and all my objects, my presenter, which sits in the middle of it, and my views can be implemented by web or by WPF in this in this case, and everything else stays the same all the way back. So that's just a, a <coughs> great power of MVP, even though you'll hear a lot of the MVC cabinet, the, the, those guys put in here. Yeah. So does your outside test, like with Storyteller or whatever, does that fail until it's all completely mm -hmm. completed? It should fail. It shouldn't compile until you've got the controls there. Once you've got the controls there, it should fail until all of this stuff is built. Now, when I first started doing BDD, I didn't get into this. I didn't do this outer circle because I thought it was useless. I mean, once all this other stuff is working, it's just a matter of displaying it. I don't care how you display it. Display it however the designers tell you to. Right? So I didn't do any of this, but I'm starting to see some value in this because it helps me drive out from the user's perspective what that should look like and only put in there what is required. That comes back to the Kanban thing and the Yagni thing. How many people know what Yagni means? You ain't going to need it. Um, that's the basic assumption that all kind of agile developers assume is that you ain't going to need it. Stop building hooks for stuff that you haven't developed yet or that you think they might need because they tend to not. And you spend all this time building hooks for something that doesn't going to exist. So make it simple. Later on, when they ask for that thing, you can refactor that so that it creates the hook for that stuff. Um, so is this is this working for everybody? Everybody's understanding this pretty much. Okay.